I'm Representative Tana Sen, and I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about my House Bill 2530 that helped foster children stay in their managed care plans when they're reunified with their families so that they can have continuity of health care. And I wanted to share a little bit uh, of the context of that by talking to some of the people affected and very involved. Um, so maybe starting with you, Andrea, can you just tell us a little bit um, why Coordinated Care was interested in this bill? I think we were really supportive of the bill because oftentimes when children are reunified, they lose those benefits and biological parents really need that additional support. So what this bill does is it ensures that those parents have all the support and resources as well as access to the same health care services when they're reunited, which we know is a really stressful time. So we're really happy to be supportive. Thank you. And I know, I, thank you so much for coming down and for joining us for the bill signing. What inspired you to come down and, and uh, be part of that? I think bills like this are direly important. I am personally an alumni of CARE and I have a lot of peers who have either been reunified or aged out of CARE. And I just want everyone to have the same positive experience that I did regardless of what their end goal is. Speaking now with Annie Blackledge from the Executive Director of the Mockingbird Society. Uh, so this legislation 2530 again uh, is really about transitions and health care. And I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about the importance of that. Uh, it's incredibly important when um, children and young people are reunified with their family that they keep the continuity of their health care. We're really excited about this bill because we think as much as we can support transitions, which are hard for everybody, the better off families are going to be and that that reunification will be successful. And one more thing, this legislation really came about from a conversation that we had when I visited Coordinated Care. And so I just have been amazed as a legislator for five years now how just speaking with constituents, speaking with people, going on site visits really generate important policy ideas. And so just want to invite people from my district to come and see me. And you never know, something might become a bill and turn into law that really helps people in our communities and in our state. Well, thank you guys. You've been amazing advocates, all of you. It's been a pleasure to work with you. And I'm just so thrilled that we could get this bill to the governor's desk and signed in seemingly record time. So I look forward to uh, hearing the benefits of this for foster kids and their families as they go into reunification in a very healthy and hopefully very long-term way.